series record, Georgia 41 victories, Auburn 40. Seven games have wound up as ties. It's been a terrific rivalry through the years. It began back in 1892. Pat Dye is a graduate of Georgia. And as most of you who follow this sport know, Vince Dooley is a graduate of Auburn. And here we go with Auburn set to receive the kickoff. It is a short kick that is angled toward the linebacker number 42 really got a shot on him dislodged the football and it's ruled incomplete Lewis Colbert one of the best in the country averaging 45.1 to put it in the air good high kick and a fair catch is called for at the 18 yard line by John Little and that's where the Bulldogs will take over they'll mark it at the 19 as Georgia stops Auburn on its first series 44 yard punt just shy of his average and the Bulldogs take over at the 19 yard line Lewis Colbert who kicks with a club foot and despite what would be considered a handicap by many a 45.1 average as he is up among the nation's leaders in that department and John Little is the deep man for Georgia standing back at the 23 yard line good high deep kick again this one's a beauty and they let it bounce and Auburn will try to down it and it takes a great Auburn bounce and is dead at the two yard line. Gary Kelly covers it. A tremendous kick by Colbert. The gamble was made by Little as he signaled for the fair catch then let it bounce hoping it would go into the end zone. It turned out to be a 64 yard punt. Next week three Eastern time the big eight confrontation the much anticipated one Nebraska Oklahoma that's that's the way it stacks up at the moment but Tennessee controls its own destiny on third down it's Fullwood and he is stopped shy in the first down and so the Bulldogs will be getting the ball back as the clock has now run down to under seven minutes to play Pat Dye in his fifth season at Auburn after prior stints at East Carolina and Wyoming Watching his team trying to go eight and two. He was a watch charm guard playing for the Bulldogs back in the late 50s. Watch charm meaning anyone under 200 pounds back in those times was considered small. Lewis Colbert, the punt, Lane is back deep. Lane standing at his own 27 yard line. Good, high, and relatively deep kick. In fact, a very deep kick. A fair catch called for, fumbled, and recovered by Lane himself at the 14-yard line. Another beautiful kick by Colbert. Again, a man who has a club foot. But it hasn't bothered him one iota today or all season. This one, a 54-yarder. Just a breakdown in concentration here by Lane as he fumbles the ball. Looks momentarily that he's going to lose it. So the dogs get it back with 6-10 to play in the game. With one, and Georgia Tech yet to play. Figures to wind up in a bowl. Third down and six. And Washington gets dragged down by Calvin Ruff. So it's fourth down. Georgia did not use a timeout on defense. As the clock continues to run down, 222, 221 and counting, and they will be getting the ball back. Lewis Colbert out of his own end zone to kick 10 man front so they'll try to block it as they send him charging but he gets it away and a fair catch is called for and made at the 46 yard line by John Little Bulldogs have it there in Auburn territory 159 to go uh, Freddie Wagan. Wagan was out there by himself, and they had double coverage, and he was almost picked off by Freddie Robinson. Auburn is not going to be successful throwing the ball if they wait until third down. They're not a, an effective passing team, very limited patterns, nothing sophisticated, very basic. They must throw on early downs to have any success in the passing Lewis game. Lewis Colbert is in the punt. Auburn's punting game very strong. Their net is 43-7. That is outstanding. When you net almost 44 yards, and that's why he puts the ball up in the upper rafters. He makes the man make the fair catch. Brilliant punting that we've seen today, both into the wind, Keith, and with the wind. You just don't see that very often.
Johnson in college or pro football. That's outstanding. Now they mark him just short of the 20. Second down. CBS Sports presents College Football. Live from Grant Field in Atlanta, Georgia, it's Auburn versus Georgia Tech. Today's game is sponsored by your football, and they have had some great ones. Lewis Colbert on to punt, the nation's leading kicker, averaging more than 47 yards a kick. And deep to receive for Georgia Tech is Corey Collier. He probably will not get a chance to run this one back. Going for the corner. And they'll get it. Marked. Now outside the five, and they'll stop at the seven-yard line. Lewis Colbert pins them deep in their territory with 9.59 to go. We'll be back after this. Intensity that the coaches really felt like they would. That is never a problem when you're playing against a highly ranked team or a team that has a prolific runner to get ready for it. Sometimes, I think Rutland's case, it was the over emotion, the over anticipation of maybe getting the ball. Colbert comes in to punt. That's Corey Collier, number 25, waiting in his own 10 yard line. Last time, Colbert was able to put the ball out of bounds at the seven. We'll see if he goes for the corner again. may have gotten another one. And the official will mark it at the 14, between the 14 and the 15-yard line, and Georgia Tech will start from there. So once again, the Ramblin' Wreck will not have good field position. 4.29 to go first quarter. We're still scoreless. Standing near the end line, we'll have to punt it away. And Gary Lee is waiting at the 50. Collier with a beautiful punt. And Lee signals fair catch, driven all the way back to his own 42-yard line. What a gorgeous kick by the nation's leading punter. 52 yards. Timeout with 4.47 left. We're still tied in Atlanta. Probably will not get good field position, but they're going to get the ball. Colbert is back to kick. And Sammy Lee waits at his 10. May not get a shot at this one either. Colbert's been very good at putting the ball out of bounds. Kicks the air out of it. Let's see if it makes the end zone. And it won't. It takes a big bounce for Auburn. They lost it. Where will they down it? Inside the one-yard line. And now one of the official signals it's a touchback and will go out to the 20. They bobbled that ball, Steve, or they'd have had it down at about the one-foot line. 9.05 left. Auburn over Georgia Tech, 17-14. ...of cooler days ahead and the start of another kind of season. Football! Lewis Colbert concluded a solid rookie season with strong efforts against the Steelers and Jets. In 1986, the Chiefs special team steered an exhilarating ride through the NFL, a record-breaking journey that left an unforgettable impression. McGee on the kickoff at the 5, 10, 15, tips, bobbles the ball, it's loose, the Chiefs have picked it up, it's picked up by Kevin Ross, he's in the end zone, touchdown, Kansas City, what a play! hunting success that was so much a part of this Kansas City franchise in their past. Oh, John, we got it! Today, that 15-year absence will be filled. The frustration gone. Yes, Kansas City, there is a Santa Claus. The Chiefs are ready to challenge. The Chiefs are ready to challenge. We accepted the challenge. And with him, he brings a playoff position for the 1986 Kansas City Chiefs. Hi, I'm Lewis Colbert, punter for the Kansas City Chiefs football team, here to spend a few minutes reflecting on the wonderful world of football. Hey, wait a minute. You thought this was supposed to be a program about the United Way. Well, it is, because the United Way has a great deal in common with the game of football, as you will soon see. So, let the games begin. I've always wanted to say that.